how to change the trade and riser materials in revit staircase so you can see here is a precast staircase and i want to uh, make trade and riser in this staircase so how we'll do this so i'm going to my realistic mode and you can see here this is our concrete uh, precast staircase so now i want to apply trade uh, material and riser material so i'm going to select this staircase here and i'm going to edit type here and now we can create a duplicate here so i'm going to rename this as a new stair and i will click ok and uh, i'm going to this uh, construction here you can select run type here and you can click anywhere here in this uh, row and you can click once and you will see the three dots i will show you one more time you can see this three dot you can just click this and now you can see this underside surface is smooth and you can make it stepped also if you want and you can apply so this will turn to a step staircase and you can change the structural depth which is a standard here six and a half inches you can change to any size and uh, this material is cast in place gray this uh, material is monolithic material and now you can see this option here trade so this is unchecked so if you want to apply trade here you are required to just check this box and click apply so trade is applied here and you can trade you can change the trade thickness like is two inch you can make it one inch if you want to uh, make it one inch it will be changed and you can uh, change the trade profile also you can see here this is C profile and stair trade you can apply any stair trade or you can keep this uh, default here so now you can uh, change the nosing length also here so uh, you can apply any nosing profile here you can see this is default i'm going to select this one this is just to make you understand so this is nosing profile so you can keep it this as a default and now uh, you can see here this is riser so you can again similarly you can check this box and click apply so riser is applied here and you can see this uh, riser profile is default and riser to trade connection extend riser behind trade so you can change this extend trade under riser or you can join all risers and trades you can select any of this and you can click apply and now you can see here uh, this material is appeared here trade material which was earlier not available here so now uh, you have checked this box so material is coming here so you can change the material so i'm going to buy category here trade material and i'll click on this three dot and i'm going to create a new material and you can see here i will rename this as a marble here and i will go to asset browser and i will see here marble and now we can select this marble any stone here masonry flooring so we can uh, select any marble here so suppose i am going to select this deep green here and you can change the scale here so you can select on this image and you can go to a scale uncheck this link and suppose uh, your trade is six feet you can make this as six feet and you can make this as a one feet and click done apply okay apply okay so you can see this uh, trade material is changed and now i want to apply the same material for this uh, riser so now you can go to again this run type and you can go to riser material and you can apply the same material here click ok apply so you can see this riser material is applied here so this is the process of changing trade and riser materials in Revit. So thanks for watching. Bye bye.